A main focus of the Navy Technology Transfer Program is transferring technologies developed by Navy laboratories to the private sector. At the Naval Undersea Warfare Center, work is being done on a remote heartbeat cardiac condition monitor that could help deliver valuable information to battlefield commanders of the future. It is non-invasive, accurate, and can play a key role in delivering much needed information as commanders remotely assess their troops' physiological state during the heat of conflict. I take a laser beam and I point it at a person's neck. And what we're doing is measuring the motion of the artery, and in this case, the carotid artery that's in the neck. As the blood flows through for every heartbeat, the arteries will expand and contract. What that motion does is actually modulate the laser beam and the modulation then converts into the pulse waveform that we're measuring. What you're actually seeing is the minute fluctuations. Even if the heart valve flutters, you will actually pick up the fluttering. So everything of the physiology of the person that reflects the blood pressure, you will actually see in the waveform. The non-contact blood pulse waveform monitor has roots in previous work funded by the Office of Naval Research at the Warfare Center. ONR, Office of Naval Research, funded the initial work of looking at using a laser to detect sound within the sea. Many people associate military technologies with weapons systems, but a significant portion of the R&D that is conducted in the Navy laboratories has had tremendous impact on the private sector. At Naval Undersea Warfare Center, Division Newport, we've been very fortunate to have several technology transfer successes. One of them utilized a digital image enhancement that was developed for mine hunting that's now being used for digital mammogram image enhancement. The non-contact blood pulse waveform monitor has multiple military and commercial applications. One of the benefits of this type of sensor is the fact that it's a remote sensor. So you don't have to be near the person or animal in order to take a reading of their pulse waveform. But the benefit of being remote, other than not affecting the person or the animal that you're measuring, is the fact that you can do this in airports for port or port security. And you can monitor the stress level of different people or their swallowing rate for homeland defense. You could use it for triage on the battlefield. If you don't want to go into a dangerous zone, you'll be able to point the laser beam onto a person and detect from a safer distance how sick or how healthy the person is. So it's a triage application there. You could use it in veterinary clinics or in trauma centers and hospitals. Naval Undersea Warfare Center continues its development of the technology and is seeking a partner to commercialize the non-contact blood pulse waveform monitor under a patent license agreement, a cooperative research and development agreement, or CRADA, to gain access to division personnel and resources is available in conjunction with the license. The technology for using a laser beam to measure a person's pulse was developed here at Newark. We we're the first people to ever, ever actually get the system to work in a laboratory very easily, and it only takes a minute to set up. And we were able to patent it for use on people, and a second patent application is in for measuring animals. 